I flew from Bangkok, Thailand to Singapore on my 51st birthday, so they upgraded me to first class, so I got to sit and do the New York Times crossword puzzle and drink complimentary champagne. Arriving in Singapore, you can see it's uh, rolled an entrepot, which is a trading outpost without trading duties. It was established by Sir John Raffles in the 1800s as a duty-free port, and as a result, it grew up as a uh, free city. I'm here visiting a cousin who's an international banker in Singapore, where a lot of international bankers live, and they live at the Rafelsia building on the 30th floor in North Singapore, overlooking a nice view. Which one is it? It's hotel. Uh -huh. the, the grey building there for the stone Providing much needed labor to the trading industry were Chinese and Indian coolies. Chinese coolies came from the southeastern provinces of China, while Indian coolies hailed from South India. The Chinese coolie and the tokay in the sculpture are identified by their Q, or pigtail, which the king authorities required all Chinese men to wear. When the Qing dynasty ended in 1912, Cues were done away with. The Indian coolie wears a customary turban. Life as a coolie was difficult. They lived in cramped and squalid conditions, often with no proper ventilation or sanitation. Many a coolie ended his days in Singapore, alone and penniless, plying the trade trading boats that crowded the Singapore River. Growing hand in hand with trade was the finance industry. The sculpture to the right encapsulates the dramatic changes that the finance industry has undergone. Singapore's position as a center for entrepot trade led to the proliferation of financial institutions. The settlement's first bank was the Bank of Calcutta, established in 1840. Financial businesses set up their offices near the Singapore River to be close to the area's many trading houses. Early services were divided along ethnic lines. The money lending business in the early days was primarily run by the Chet Chetiars, who came from South India. A nation like uh, Singapore needs fresh water. And they get their fresh water from these different holding tanks. There's like six or seven lakes on the island. And it has to be organized. And the Chinese, the Malay, and everybody else has created a fusion culture that has created a very wealthy entrepot. But still, they have to deal with diseases and tropical environments. Singapore's first bridge, the Kavanaugh Bridge.